All right, guys. Hope you all are having a good evening. And um, and I hope all is going well with you guys. I was watching a sermon today about um, putting passion in its place. And I began to think of passion and how it can be a good thing but turned in the wrong direction it's about it can be a destructive thing and that's what I want to talk about today but before I talk about that let's pray Father I praise you and I worship you um, speak through me God um, speak whatever you want to say through me I'm yours for these few minutes Lord and I pray that you will get the glory and I believe that, that this sermon will touch someone out there in the name of Jesus Amen okay um Because of YouTube rules, I can't play any recorded music anymore, but I still like to use music for my sermons. It's, um, it's uniquely a part of me and how I roll. So today's song, I think, um, I was thinking, um, of, uh, Soul on Fire by Third Day. So I decided to sing it. And I don't have the best voice in the world, but um, because music's, music has always been a part of my sermons, I've decided to still sing, even though I can't play the recorded version. So here is Soul on Fire by Third Day. God, I'm running for your heart, I'm running for your heart, till I am so on fire, Lord, I'm, I'm longing for your ways, I'm waiting for the day, when I am so on fire, till I am so on fire, God, I'm running for your heart, I'm running for your heart, till I am so on fire, Lord, I'm longing for your ways, I'm waiting for the day, when I am so on fire, till I am so on fire, Lord, restore the joy I, I had, I have wandered, bring me back, in the darkness, lead me through, until all I see, it is you, God, I'm running for your heart, I'm running for your heart, till I am a soul on fire, Lord, I'm longing for your ways, I'm waiting for the day, when I am a soul on fire, till I am a soul on fire. Lord, let me burn for you again. Let me return to you again. Lord, let me burn for you again. Let me return to you again. God, I'm running for your heart, I'm running for your heart, till I am a soul on fire, Lord, I'm longing for your way, for your ways, I'm waiting for the day, when I am a soul on fire, 
till I am a soul on fire. Uh, that was the song Soul on Fire by Third Day. Um, as I was thinking of passion, um, I was thinking of uh, the, both sides of passion. Mostly ev everything in life has a positive side and a negative side. Anything, any good thing in excess can be dangerous, can lead to one's demise. And I think that passion is a very good thing. People have lost their passion. Like they get up, go to school, go to work, go home. And they, they've just lost their passion for life. They've lost their passion for God. They've lost their passion for each other. They've lost, they've lost um, their passion for their job. And they're just going through the motions. God, God wants us to actually restore our, restore our love and restore our passion. The, the Lord said, you have everything right, um, but you have forgotten your first love. That's in Revelation. Um, he wants us to burn for him. He wants us to be excited about what he's doing. And he also wants us to be excited about our purpose. I think a lot of people, when we first become Christians, we are so into the word we are so into prayer we are so into the things of god but as we um as we get older into our journey we become more complacent and the lord wants us to burn for him again for us to get excited about him again um, i'm not married but i've heard from many married people when they started dating, they they couldn't stop talking on the phone to each other. They couldn't wait till they saw each other. They couldn't, they just wanted to be around each other and wanted to explore um, e each other, wanted to know about each other. But when they got married, it kind of got all old and kind of st stale. And... And like a date, like a marriage, you've got to to keep the passion going. And I'm not talking about um, sexual passion. That's that's a different thing. That's that's not even passion. That's chemistry. That's you know. That's mating. That's all that stuff. I'm talking about the passion to really keep finding out about each other, keep the relationship alive. Um, and, and back to God now, we've lost our total passion for God. We go to church, we hear a sermon, we get all excited in there, but when, when life hits up, when life hits us, we get so discouraged and upset and God saying renew your passion the Lord saying I want you back I want you to burn for me I want you to burn for your purpose not only for me but find out what you're called to do and do it wholeheartedly um, I was watching T.D. Jakes the other day and he said he was talking about um, how um, people just uh, want, it. he said, I find something that you love to do and attack it. Throw your, throw your whole self at it with passion and with zeal. 
and even if it's not the thing you are called to do it will lead to the thing you're called to do but sometimes passion could lead in a dangerous direction if it's steered in the wrong direction without a purpose um sometimes people are so passionate about some things or someone that they don't think of anything else but that but that something or someone and it calls and um but we need to balance our passion with prayer and preparation the balance of passion the balance of passion with prayer and preparation equals purpose so i think that although we need to have passion for what we do and for the lord we also need to balance it with prayer and with pe preparation so if you feel that you're called to do something you need to pr first pray pray and prepare whether it be going to school whether it be talking to certain individuals that are, are already in that career whether whatever it may be you need to have um prayer and preparation you need to ask god god how do i go about this how should i um attack this in what way should i attack it how can i be smart to attack it and I, and that's when that's when you'll see results that's when you'll see lives change by what you're doing that's when you'll see your kids thrive because you're passionate about being a mom or a dad that's when you'll see your readers um if you're a writer like me that's when you'll see your readers give you uh testimonies about how your writing has changed their lives and if or if you're a youtuber like me that's when you'll see comments saying thank you for sharing i really need to hear that um passion is wonderful when it's directed passion when it's when it's um passion with purpose but passion without purpose is a disaster and i pray that this will ignite a fire in you that god will use to his glory and to his purposes and that you will go out and touch the world with what he's called you to do with whatever he's called you to do and be passionate about it in the in Jesus name father i pray that you will just ignite our passion for you light a fire in us lord jesus that that cannot be put out lord god teach us how you want us to spend our passion teach us to be wise in our passion teach us to be smart as we go out into the world and ignite people's fires for you and i pray lord jesus that you'll teach us to speak with boldness and with boldness and passion wherever we are and lord jesus if people are in a slump today lord god and they don't know what they're called to do lord god speak to them at this very moment about what you purpose for them to do give them give them visions give them dreams about what you've called them to do lord god and i pray send people lord jesus to confirm to confirm your word over their lives and i pray lord god that you will use every person to minister where they are passionately god and i pray that before we pursue any purpose lord god that will that we will pursue you lord god 
and will go after you with a vengeance. I pray that we would love your word again. I pray that we would love to fast again and and pray again. I pray that we'll fall at, at our, our feet and bow before you and ask for, ask for forgiveness when we need forgiveness and repent when we need to repent. God, Lord Jesus, restore our joy. We need our joy back. We need our passion back. We need our love for life back. Lord, there's so much to distract us, to get, to get us down. So strengthen us today, God. In the name of Jesus, amen. I'll see you later, YouTube. Have a good night. Bye.